Hey, Will here with Into Mobile, and what's this? We have the Motorola Atrix 4G for at and I'm going to go through a little bit of an unboxing and a hardware tour of this guy. So, uh, just came in the package, uh, just came on, uh, the package just got delivered to my doorstep, and we are going to take a look at what this guy's all about. Of course, um, the highlights right here, it's got Android 2.2. Uh, Froyo with Motoblur on top, the webtop application that lets you transform this thing into a, basically a laptop, and the NVIDIA Tegra 2 dual core processor, eh, and Motoblur, unfortunately. Um, okay, so here we go, check it out. Opening it up, we got the quick start guide, right? Um, makes, makes sense, we don't care about that. Um, there you go, that is the Motorola Atrix 4G. Um, it's a little, it's not exactly easy to take out, I think, I think the best way is to just take the tray, just, yeah, dump it right out like that. So it comes completely torn down. Uh, the back cover, you see the SIM card slot right here, and the micro SD card slot right there, and the big old battery s slot right here. It can, uh, it's got a 19, uh, 1930 uh, milliamp hour battery that goes in there. Huge. A 2000 mAh battery is uh, no joke. So, what comes in the packaging? Before we get to this guy, let's take a look at what comes in the retail box. Well, you get the micro USB cable, right? That, that end right there goes into the phone, and that end goes into your computer for data transfers and or charging or you plug this guy into the wall brick and you can charge this into in the wall what's even cooler is that this guy comes with a micro HDMI cable that usually you don't get I, I've had to buy my own in, 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 uh, recently but this HDMI plug goes into your TV that goes into the phone and then you can offload of course that micro HDMI there it goes so once you do that, you can plug it into this micro HDMI port right there. Once you do that, you can uh, offload videos from this thing in uh, to your big screen TV in all of its HD glory. And of course, you got the battery and the back cover and some extra documentation. So um, let me put this guy together. Okay, so I've got them all put together now, just like a Humpty Dumpty got the, the battery cover on. I'm just going to hold down the power button. The power button is actually back here. And uh, why don't we just take this thing off? And the first thing you see, like the Motorola Zoom, is dual core because this thing, just like the Motorola Zoom tablet, is powered by the NVIDIA Tegra 2 dual core processor. Um, while it's booting up, quick little tour, we've got the power button up here. And if you notice, it's got this uh, matte little uh, flat portion of it. The, the power button actually doubles as a fingerprint scanner so you can unlock or protect your data. We've got the, uh, the camera here, the 5 megapixel camera with a dual LED flash that's capable of taking uh, 720p video. We've got the big, large, 4-inch, multi-touch, uh, capacitive touchscreen here um, with the quarter HD resolution. That's 540 by 960 pixels. We've got the capacitive touch sensitive buttons here, the AT&T boot splash screen, the front-facing camera, okay, We've got on the on the on the lower part here. We've got the speaker on the right side. We've got the volume control rocker, the 3.5 millimeter standard headphone jack on top, and on the left side, of course, we've got the micro USB and the micro HDMI slots, and that's about it. And uh, to there's the microphone slot right there. Um, to take it off, as the, this illustration tells you, you just stick your fingernail under there and just bring it up. Like so, and of course we got right there the micro SD card slot, which is hot swappable, which means you don't have to pop the battery out and reboot the phone to swap out uh, SD cards. That's a cool little feature there. Gonna put them back together. Let's see what we got here. We've got a modal blur set up. I'm just gonna just gonna use an existing account. I'm gonna give my location consent. skip the getting started video and bam there we go we are booted up into the home screen so this is the main home screen panel uh, notice you can swipe three panels to the right three panels to the left or three panels to the left three panels to the right sorry and uh, one in the middle that gives you a total of seven home screen panels that you can mess with and of course this is modal blur so notice that the the application the app tray launcher here and the uh, the contacts and phone buttons are different from standard Android as is this little uh, home screen scroll bar down here. Notice you get these widgets. These are modal blur widgets, right? You can uh, put in your RSS feed into this widget. You've got power control toggles. You've got music, your photo gallery, life. Um, you've got those apps down there. You've got your quick contacts widgets. You've got your email and your uh, social networking updates. 
um, all those widgets with weather and your calendar widget, all part of Motoblur, uh, they uh, continually stream and uh, your your social network updates and your RSS feed news into onto your home screen. So that's uh, that's pretty much the Motorola Atrix 4G here. Of course, under the hood, we have that one gigahertz NVIDIA Tegra 2 processor with the uh, with the dual core uh, processor there and one gigabyte of RAM, of course. And w the 4G part of this guy is made possible by AT&T's HSPA Plus network and that you'll see that right here in the fine print 4G speeds delivered by HSPA Plus with enhanced backhaul right there um, what that means is they have uh, in in increased their uh, their their fiber um, to towers to make uh, to increase bandwidth um, and also to uh, accommodate more more data traffic giving you HSPA Plus um, data speeds on this guy so that's a quick little hardware tour um, and before we go I'm going to show you the highlight of this guy is the webtop application you just fire this up and um, you you plug this right into the laptop dock that we'll show you about in uh, in another video and um, and you're good to go you turn this guy into a laptop and one thing I wanted to show you guys is uh, I mentioned that this power button back here which is actually located in a non-standard position it's actually located so it's easy to push the power button with your hand right just grab the phone push the power button and you're good to go doubles as a fingerprint scanner so I just set this up uh, cut away did some movie magic I set this up to scan my fingerprint so check this out I'm gonna push the power button and it's got the lock screen so I can either swipe to unlock and then put in my pin which I don't want to do or I can swipe my fingerprint so I'm gonna just swipe like this and it's gonna recognize my pin and it's gonna let me into the let me into my uh, home screen there so that's a quick little look at the Atrix 4G, the Motorola Atrix 4G for AT&T, powered by AT&T's HSPA Plus 4G network, and of course, more importantly, the NVIDIA Tegra 2 dual-core processor with the 1 gig of RAM inside. Um, that's a quick little hardware tour, Atrix 4G.